So this is how I learned how to split wood. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I saw Buck and Billy Ray's channel and he was doing the flick technique. And I said, I wanna learn how to do that. So I just watched everything I could about the flick technique. And I got my ax on January of 2019 and it's now May of 2020. So I haven't had it for that long a time. If you think about people who grew up, you know, axing wood or splitting wood. The only wood I remember splitting was with a log splitter. My neighbor at my old studio used to be a farmer, had a bunch of wood that he had chopped up and so they brought this huge wood splitter. And that's all I remember. And then now with seeing all this wood splitting on YouTube, I decided, hey, I want to I want to give give it my my you know, I want to try it. I want to see if I can flick that wood the way Buck and Billy Ray and a couple other guys on YouTube did it. So, they've been, you know, giving tips on how to by showing how they do it. But there weren't really any videos to give a specific technique to practice. So I kept trying for the whole year and then finally I said I'm not getting really anywhere except I can watch the video and and, and wish I could do that. So I needed to do more of a specific technique training. So I talked to a bunch of older people and they all seemed to had you know been splitting wood since you were younger and no one really kind of knew this flick technique except people on YouTube so the only way I was gonna learn how to do this was to figure out my own way of practicing and here's how I did it the way it all sort of clicked in because I knew that I could just keep you know uh, slam that axe down and eventually you get tired but don't really get anywhere as far as techniques so I try to break it down into a smaller steps not necessarily trying to split the wood but trying to hit the wood and figure out the flick and a couple of videos that help to sort of you know make it you know light bulb go off in my head was on one video where Buck and Billy Billy Ray was talking about how uh, he sort of like it it it's sort of like twist or you know sort of twist in his hand the the axe and then he also mentioned how it would take you a while so I knew that all right he those are things he just tells you and then when he shows you in slow motion you see how it sort of does it but then it's like I didn't see anyone practicing it so the way I figured my practice would be was I'll just work on hitting it slow slow and getting strong with being able to hold it so when it twists I have the strength that I'm able to do the you know still hold it or make it work so I started with for about a month I just said alright I'm not really gonna try to wail on this wood I'm just gonna try to make it you know twist out flick out so I got this piece of wood that had, or this round that had a bunch of knots in it. And uh, so I just started hitting it. Real light technique, you know. Just sort of trying to create a, a direction that if my mind said I want to hit it, to flick, flick it to the left, the I work on a technique to try to flick it to the left. And if I want to flick it to the right, I would specifically say, now let's go for the right. So I'd hold the axe outward and using the end result of what it would look like after I would flick it. So I imagine what it would look like while I flicked it and then I would hold it in the flicked already position. And then I would work on, you know, five exercises one way to the left and five exercises to the right. And just kept doing that for a whole month. You know, like taking 15 minutes out of the day just as my workout. I go out and I bring the same piece of wood out and my neighbor is probably like man he's been hitting that same piece of wood for like a month he still hasn't split, split that wood but I knew that I needed to work on a specific training 
to try to figure this whole wood splitting thing out. And finally it clicked in. Finally, I knew that, all right, I'm gonna have to give it like power hits to try to actually uh, split some wood after doing just light techniques and getting the strength. And I would, you know, try it with, with gloves and without gloves because uh, I, like, I asked my neighbor, hey, so you guys X the wood with the gloves or no gloves? And he'd be like, oh, no gloves. I'm like, all right, let me try it without the gloves. And I realized that, hey man, it, it's like, unless this you're, right here. you know, throwing that axe for a while, your, your hands, I need the gloves. And then I get better without the gloves. So it, that took a while too. So now the way I'm hitting it, I can actually say, I'm gonna flick it to the left or I'm gonna flick it to the right. And there's still a couple of things I'm working on, you know, it just finally clicked in, like this whole thing just finally clicked in after practicing the slow motion, te slow techniques. Um, the way when it actually re really did click in was a couple sporadic times, like, oh, wow, I did it. And then I tried to do it again, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. So what I did was I took a round and I cut it in half so it would be a smaller piece. And then with being able to, you know, throw down the axe and try to flick it on a smaller piece, I was able to actually do it the way it looks like when other people do it with a big piece, a big round. So I knew that, all right, the smaller round gave me that connected point where the timing was when I hit connected with the wood, the round, with the tip of the axe. Like I felt, I felt the moment when the tip of the axe would hit the wood and I was able to, you know, feel that timing. And that's from just practicing hitting the same piece of wood, the knotted up piece of, the knotted up round, like over and over, just to practice. Not real hard, yeah. just to, you know, to hit it and feel this timing. Right on the and then I felt that timing when I, when I hit right the, the, the cut up small round. Center I was like, point. okay, so now I felt where that moment is. And that's when I started to realize, okay, I know what that moment is now. So now let's try a bigger piece where I can like give it more of a, a power a power hit and then try to flick it. So that's what I'm doing in this video now. I'm actually hitting like this is my this is my first big piece of big round or like a larger size round. That's a small puny size that I cut up when I actually was able to just you know get that timing right. This is a bigger piece where. I was like, all right, let me just try it on this one, see if, and this one had some knots in it, so I knew that just from watching all the YouTube videos that the knots were like a challenge, so you could, you know, work around those knots. And it worked. So this is what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually like figured out the timing part. Now I still have to figure out the power part because I've watched like old timers. And I asked my neighbor next door, I go, hey, yeah, because he's like, well, dude, why don't you just get a wood splitter? I'm like, well, I, I want to learn this. I want to learn how to, I want to be that axe. I want to throw that axe around, man. And then he goes, yeah, my, he, he knew a guy who was like 80, 80 some years old who just passed away. And he knew how to swing that axe from like forever up until the day that he died. So I was like, wow. Because if you watch some old timers, it's like they got some power that's coming out of nowhere. And you're just like, wow, how did they do that? You know? So the technique is just as important as the brute strength. So that's what I've been trying to work on is just trying to get this technique down. And the ax that I'm using is a Fisker's 36 inch splitting maul. And I got that in January of 2019. And that's my first ax. And that's pretty much the first axe I've ever swung like trying to split wood the only time I actually swung an axe was when Ron and you see Ron in the video where I'm cutting down that apple tree that he uses Husqvarna and I use my ego chainsaw he had a tree and the tree wasn't even that big but he's like hey you want to try to chop this tree down and they had this axe that looked like you know it's just like a regular axe nothing fancy with like the blonde handle on it and so I started like swinging at it I'm like man this is hard <laughs> it's like like the tree was hard to chop 
like to actually hit that wood on that tree and this was like a small tree maybe the size of like uh, half a foot you know and diameter wise and had the smooth it was like a smooth smooth outer bark thing it wasn't like the wood that has the bark that's rough it was like smooth but that tree was trying to throw an axe and that thing it was like wow this is hard work <laughs> so anyways so this is my way of figuring out how I was able to learn this flick technique and as I get better I'll start using it on bigger bigger pieces and you know but I know that it is possible to learn that and I was able to do it by just focusing on the actual um, well focusing not on the swing so much but more on the control the control of the point where I felt the timing of when I was connected to the tip of the axe to the wood and that's just it's hard to explain that because um, you know you can watch someone do it like Buck and Billy he does it so well that it's like he can just say yeah do it like this bam and in slow motion and you're like wow but the feeling of when it hits the wood is sort of the part that I had to learn and the way I was able to learn it was just like hitting that one piece of that one round for 30 days just 15 minutes a day or whenever I felt like getting out there and just swinging the yaks you know to try to get that technique down and then it just clicked so if you're trying to learn this technique this is how I learned it I just kept hitting the same piece of wood until I started to see the top was all like splintering and then I just start basic as a bunch of little mini splinters on top and I wasn't trying to split the wood I was just trying to like learn the technique of learning that flick and getting that moment of of feeling of when the tip hits that wood and the timing of it well I'm still learning how to split wood but I do know that my friend Dave at the body shop he uh, he carves wood sculptures with his chainsaw and he's got a friend who is a competitive axe guy so yeah. he gave Dave gave me some pointers and when he saw my form you know just sort of standing in front of him saying hey look check this out watch my swing right away he picked out that my knees had a tendency to drop and I would lose power on my knees so now I try to maintain my knees to where they're firm and I'm not like you know the way I used to do it my right knee would drop down and also he said he said that I should not have my elbows go above my shoulders because then I lose power so these are things that I I follow because um, you know Dave knows his stuff in the car world and also in the axe world which I didn't realize so that's a couple things that I'm still learning and there's a lot more I need to learn but at least now that I'm starting to get the basics I'm having more fun with utilizing splitting wood as, as my Looking cardio up. workout you know fun stuff in the city just get some wood get an axe and just start swinging it but try to swing it with a, a good technique and a good form so you maintain you know good good like I don't know so you don't injure yourself for one yep. and you don't damage your joints so anyways thanks for watching the video uh, and thank you very much again for for sharing your your ability to, to work that that axe and know that woodwork There's stuff that right there Buck and Billy appreciate it man and all you other people out there who are wanting to, to work with splitting wood I mean I enjoy it's a good workout there's other stuff you can do but this is one workout I think is quite enjoyable and it only takes uh, you know just an axe and some wood so and uh, have fun yourself get out there and start swinging that axe and see if you can bust up some wood out there <laughs> okay yeah alright have a good day everyone thank you alright bye